A story of love, determination, and hope. An elderly Lorraine County couple survives COVID, and tonight they're sharing their story and their message. It was tough. It's a nightmare. A nightmare that doctors weren't sure Frank Bica would wake up from. The doctors gave me a 20% chance of making it, and then they cut it down to 10 before they sent me to Parma to the nursing home. The 90-year-old was hospitalized for more than a month fighting COVID. Three weeks in ICU and then a month in step-down unit. Uh, he was on a ventilator for 12 days. He had a 10% chance of coming off of the ventilator. Um, by the grace of God, somehow he did. His wife of almost 70 years, sick with it too. I had the virus, I didn't do nothing but sleep. My daughters would come and bring food, leave it in the garage, and then I'd go out to the garage, bring it in and eat, I go back to bed and go to sleep. The couple nursed back to health by their four daughters. I don't know how I survived it. I really don't. I think it's God didn't want me yet. Frank spent four months recovering at the home of one of his children. But my dad had to learn everything. Um, he had to learn how to walk, learn how to talk, speech therapy, occupational therapy, um, how to eat. I mean, he couldn't swallow, swallow um, liquid had to be thickened. It was something out of a movie. You, it, you were living it, but you couldn't believe that this was actually happening. Slowly but surely, Frank surprised the doctors and recovered. And then eventually from a wheelchair to a walker, from a walker to a cane. And then at the end, um, able to walk on his own and recently took a walk around the block with my mom. And now Frank told us he is sharing his story to give others fighting COVID hope. You can't give up. Next month, the couple will celebrate 69 years of marriage. Many people at age 89 and 90 would not go through what they went through. They would just say, I'm done. Peace out. But they wanted to continue on. So I feel that that is such a strong sense of love.